Hello everyone and welcome to another bullet journaling for authors video. This is my 2019 setup and um, I started it pretty well. Um, I wrote 2018 instead of 2019 because that's what you do, right? Especially if you're me. Uh, by the way, if you're new to my channel, my name is Alina, I'm an author and I post videos about books and writing and uh, everything that's related to these two passions of mine. About midway through drawing this, I will figure out I made a mistake and I will correct it, but I did not film the entirety of that. You will have to see the finished product at the end of the video, I apologize for that. The drawing on the right is of a surfer riding a wave but he's going up that wave and i chose that as um, an illustration because as some of you know 2018 has been a really rough year i had a lot of a lot of health issues and um i've been pretty much sick or uh, unable to work properly for almost half of this year if i add all the severe cold so I used this image and I wrote nowhere else to go but, but up because I felt that would be a great a sort of theme to go into 2019 and um, I hope things are better because being away from work not being able to write and to publish and that happening exactly after I decided to go wide and moved most of my books wasn't the best of things to happen to me <laughs> career and finance wise but you know i'm slowly recovering and i'll do better in 2019 but yeah i needed all the motivation i could get if you would like to see how i drew this illustration there's a video on my art channel depicting the entire process uh, i will link that video in the info card and in the description down below so yeah if you're interested in seeing me color that um, I sketched it in pencil and then colored it with color pencils and a bit of acrylic for the foam on the waves you can check it out and have fun and uh, as you can see I pretty much corrected this but I did more because I didn't like how it was looking and now this is my 2019 goals I divided them into writing art and personal I kind of skipped through me writing all of the goals but I will do a dedicated video later this month or early next month depends on how things work out this is probably the one page where I did write 2019 of three. I messed up on two pages. I'm incredible. Speaking of goals, I had goals at the beginning of 2018. Suffice to say I didn't meet a lot of those, especially those that were um, writing and publishing related because again, I was out of the picture for like half a year. So um, I just decided to not even look at them at the end of this year because whatever conclusions I might draw they're not exactly relevant because it's not like I was working and failed um, I had pretty good reasons not to be working so I'll just focus on what I want to do in 2019 these are all yearly goals huge overall goals I will still have monthly goals at the beginning of each month and if you're wondering when my January setup is going to come out it will probably be before the end of the year so I got a few days it's fine I'm, I'm not I'm not freaking out at all um, my yearly goals are kind of um, crazy like my normal goals only crazy -er because they're for an entire year if you can see there I want to publish about 20 books and write 75,000 words per month uh, and yeah, I can get more insane than that, but it's fine. It's fine. I did add a few art goals because other than helping me with covers, because yay, I'm designing my own covers now. Art has helped me 
a lot through what happened this year. I do not consider myself an artist. I should tell you that off the bat. I'm just an author who likes to art and wants to improve because um, if you're an author, you know how hard it is to find um, stock photos that look like your character. So maybe one day I can design my own. There's a huge weight goal up there. I just want to say that this is very personal. I need to lose weight before the surgery because being a bit chubby makes uh, things a bit difficult when they're digging through your leg to find a screws. So yeah, moving on, this will be my writing and publishing spread for 2019, Alina. I will write 2018, of course. Um, I would like to say that I figured it out and corrected it, but no, it took a live stream with Claire for her to point out that um, I wrote the wrong year. <laughs> so uh, don't expect to see it <laughs> corrected by the end of this video because things happen, people. Things happen, especially to me. <laughs> this is heavily inspired by my friend Nikki's bullet journal setup and I decided to do a double page spread, so a full spread in which to track the progress of each book I'm working on. So I'm going to track when the draft is released, when I've edited it, when I've sent it to my editor, when I created the cover, when I've created a pre-order and when I've released it. I think this will help to just have an overall view of my progress in 2019 and it will kind of serve as um, a publishing schedule as well. I've had a lot of conversations with my friend Claire about writing and having a publishing schedule and the stress it brings and we're both kind of uh, working on a lot of different series and we have stressful deadlines so I'm kind of going to go the way she's already going which is work on whatever inspires me at one point keep track of where I am and whenever a few books in that series are ready I will start publishing that particular series which is something I'm going to start doing in January. I've realized that I do a lot better if I divide my daily word count between several projects because I don't get overwhelmed and I don't procrastinate as much because uh, I tend to want to write something else so that I procrastinate and not write what I'm supposed to. So if I switch between projects, that's harder to to turn into a, an issue. I hope it will work. I think I put 20 as a starting point of a projects to track. There, there might be more, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, I think this will be really helpful though. And um, I think I'm going to write the date in each of these columns of when things were completed and also color in the stage that I've completed so that I can see how far along in the progress in the project I've gotten and I can have a visual image of that. I've done something very different with my titling as you can see and I tried to do a two color gradient. I think it looks pretty cool. To be honest, it, it's a lot of work though <laughs> for each title and um, I'm not sure if I'm keeping that in January, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, I can always bring it back later on, but that, that 2018 bothers me now, <laughs> which is <laughs> to be expected if you're filming the voiceover long before you filmed the actual bullet journal setup. Anyway, uh, do let me know what your goals and plans are for 2019. If you're bullet journaling or if you're planning in any way, let me know what you're doing and what method you're using. Um, 
I do not have a lot of yearly spreads because I do focus on monthly and weekly planning but these will probably help get me closer to my goals I'm hoping now this this YouTube spread is um, the most wishful thinking part in this in this video because um, these um, hexagons that create a nice honeycomb um, are supposed to track the growth of my channels here on the left side I have my writer channel and um, each of those little hexagons will stand for 10 subscribers so yeah I have huge dreams of growing probably not happening but you know I'm I'm going to try anyway so um, yeah we'll, we'll we'll see how that goes hopefully I get closer to my goals than I think I will by the way if there's noise in the background I'm sorry everyone in this building is um, preparing for New Year's so they're all cooking and using a lot of uh, kitchen appliances I don't know how much this mic will pick it up but if it does I'm sorry <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it other than not 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 record this year anymore so I'm just going to keep going and see how bad it is when I edit this Moving on to my art channel, I tried calligraphy again. I'm awful at lettering, but for some reason I keep trying. <laughs> uh, although these brush pens are not the best for that, but you know, I'm, I'm trying. I um, decided to just change the orientation of this honeycomb because I wanted it to, you know, stand out from the other channel. Um, if this bothers you visually, I'm sorry. I just thought it would be cool. <laughs> um, and it's my bullet journal. If you don't like it, when you do your bullet journal, make sure you don't do that. It can be annoying. I, I do have big plans uh, and don't worry. For the art channel, I intend to color in one of these for each five subscribers so i'm not that insane i'm only partially insane when i'm thinking of how my channel will grow but either way it's it's fun to have goals and i mean i like doing youtube videos i like talking to people and watching their content and leaving comments so i i do hope i will increase my tribes on youtube because it's the most fun platform for me even if I try to pass it off as work and this is a spread I did not intend to create at first but then I realized I should probably do it it's a two spread thing where I'm just going to log all of my wins if they're major wins or just small tiny wins I'm going to log them because otherwise I might get all caught up in things that weren't all that great like uh, I don't know breaking my leg so um, yeah that's that's what what my plan is for this year just focus more on the wins and celebrate them and hopefully those will will keep me going because this is going to be a busy year people <laughs> it's going to be crazy so this is the final flip through 
and this is the result of the first page after I corrected it. I do hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you find it useful if you're planning for next year. Do let me know in the comments what you've thought of these spreads and um, like the video and subscribe if that's something you'll find helpful in the future. And uh, in the meantime, have a lovely day or night and I shall see you very soon. Bye!